In this question we're asked to show whether or not a triangle is right angled. Now 5.8 times 10 to the 2 is 580. 1.16 times 10 to the power of 3 is 1160. I will leave that as a third. Now if I call that, for the sake of it, A, B and C, I'm going to work out what a squared is, what b squared is, and what c squared is. Now then, 580 squared is 336400. b squared, 1160 squared, is 1345600. To work out c squared, I'll put a bracket, I'll put 580 root 5 across close bracket square, and that is 1682,000. Now then, for a triangle to be right angled, it must obey Pythagoras. And this is where the clever thing comes in, because if we work out a squared plus b squared, then we get 3, 3, 6, 400 plus 1, 3, 4, 5, 600, 1, 6, 8, 2000, which equals c squared. So, because a squared plus b squared equals c squared, the triangle must be right-angled. Just as a minor point, I knew to choose that side there as C because it was the longest side of the three and so therefore had to be the hypotenuse if it was right-angled.